Assalamu alaikum viewers. We are back with our next program. Our today's program is focused on the lesson entitled Elephants and it is taken from 9th class English textbook. The interesting and dominating feature of today's lesson is that we are going to take you to the zoo. You'll visit the zoo and you'll see it for yourself how the elephants live in the community of animals. So when you're in the zoo, watch everything very carefully because after that we are going to ask you questions. In the second portion, there will be pronunciation drill. We have selected a few words from your textbook and the same words would be used for vocabulary building. Next, we will practice how to use simple future tense in a sentence. And lastly, we will show you a dialogue which will reinforce your ability in listening comprehension. So let's go to the zoo, enjoy your trip there and come back with a lot of knowledge. Today, we are taking you into the world of animals. Now, animals form a major portion of all the life forms on Earth. Biology, as you might be knowing, is composed of two words. Bio, meaning life, and logos, meaning study. And living organisms are basically divided into plants and animals. Together, they make up an ecosystem. A difficult sounding word indeed for many of you, but it simply means the cycle of life. Now before we move on, let me tell you that both plants and animals are a must for this life cycle to continue. Okay, although life started with a single cell, late in the distant past, that is thousands of years ago, there have been very huge animals on our planet Earth. Some of them, like the dinosaurs, you might have seen in the movies. Isn't it a pity they are no longer around us? Now, they have become extinct. So our task, yours and mine at present, is to save these animals and plants of today from becoming extinct. Now, before you think that I will just talk and talk and will not show you some of the animals in this zoo, let me take you, first of all, to the king of the jungle. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's the lion, the big cat. See, with its ferocious eyes and a grand personality, it even sits like a monarch. And now let us move on to see some of the other animals in this zoo, which I know you would love to meet. Animals like us human beings need clean environment, free of pollution. This awareness is the need of the hour. It will not only keep us fit, healthy and of course happy, but as we will be preserving our environment in the right and proper manner, the overall general quality of life will also improve. And now it is time to meet our other friends in the zoo. They are the funniest of all the animals on earth. Well, here they are, monkeys. When they sit quietly, they look like philosophers. But when they are playing, my goodness, they leave behind all the clowns on earth. And now we have the last but not the least of our friends in the zoo. But before you see it with its baby, let me tell you that you'll be given some very interesting information about this largest land animal alive in today's world. Can you guess it? What? Yes, you're absolutely right. It's the elephant. Now you can see that despite its heavy weight, an elephant is amazingly graceful. There always seems to be a pleasant air of playfulness about it. Besides, an elephant is a sturdy animal. Throughout history, there have been numerous examples of elephants carrying out various tasks. The Asians used it as a postal messenger to carry letters and parcels. Nawabs, Rajas and Viceroys used elephants in hunting to help carry various equipment as well as members of the hunting party in howdahs. Then up to the end of the 19th century, elephants were specially trained to carry arms as well as warriors. Some were even trained to assault the enemy. 
And this reminds me of the great Mughals, who had a lot of respect and love and admiration also for the elephant's might and majesty. They even took them to Kabul as part of their army to save Kandahar. That is not all. In Assam and Burma, elephants are mainly used as beasts of burden. They haul heavy logs of wood in their strong trunks and then stack them neatly. So, they are great organizers also. In Siam and Sri Lanka, elephants are considered to be very sacred. People revere them and precious oils are rubbed on their skins. Furthermore, the elephants are crowned with 63 golden ornaments. And finally, to complete this beauty treatment, they are covered with red, golden and purple cloaks. And these three colors you know are the colors of the royalty. And nowadays, special trains equipped with shavers, electric fans, etc. have been put at the disposal of these elephants so that they have a comfortable living. Let me now tell you something about their nature and habits. Basically, an elephant is not a solitary animal. It lives and travels in the form of herds. The mother and the aunt elephant love and pamper the baby elephant. They are caring animals. While everyone contributes to the protection and welfare of the whole herd, a special elephant is given the task of protecting, guiding and keeping the sick, old or injured company. Such an elephant is called Askari in Swahili. How long does an elephant live? Well, the answer to this question is that the average lifespan of an elephant is about 70 years and it is measured by counting molar shedding. Now, molars are teeth which are used to grind the food and it is believed that the molars of an elephant fall out and grow back six to seven times in its lifetime. This helps us to determine its age. Now, another method is by measuring the growth rate of its tusks. Now, tusks are front two teeth on either side of the trunk. And it is because of these tusks that the elephants are being mercilessly shot and killed by hunters and poachers. The ivory from these tusks is fashioned into jewelry and decoration pieces for the drawing rooms of the rich who do not realize that elephants like the dinosaurs are in danger of extinction. What is the remedy? Seeing the rapidly declining population of the elephants, the World Wildlife Organization has come forward in trying to protect not only the animals like elephants, but also the other endangered species. This organization has succeeded in making people realize that saving animals like the elephants is very important as the extinction of any species can upset the ecological balance of the world. But unless each one of us contributes practically to save these animals, the threat will not go away. So it is now time to do some sincere efforts in this regard to ensure that we are not the losers in the end. Well, that was certainly very interesting and informative. And I hope it must have motivated you to help save any animal, bird or plant which is in danger of being extinct. And one another very important fact about the elephants is that they have a remarkable memory. They remember events for months. Well, that was just about elephants. Let's see how much you remember. So should I ask you questions? Question number one, why are the elephants in danger of becoming extinct? The answer is because they are killed by hundreds because of the tusk and that is why they are in danger of extinction. Second question, to what different uses have the elephants been put in the past? The answer is, the elephants have helped as postal messengers in carrying hunting parties, hauling logs and attacking the enemies in war. Now third question is very interesting and very easy. I'm sure you can answer it. The question is, what is the average lifespan of an elephant and how it can be counted? 
The answer is yes, correct answer. The average lifespan of an elephant is about 70 years and it can be counted by the frequency of its molar shedding and also by the rate of growth of its tusk. The last question. What is meant by Askari? The answer is the bodyguard and companion of old, sick and injured elephant is called an Askari. So that concludes the comprehension practice and make sure that you remember these facts about the elephants. Now we move to pronunciation practice. For that we have selected a few words and in today's lesson we are going to tell you the meanings as well of the words which we are going to pronounce. First, I'll pronounce the words and you're going to listen to them very carefully. But when I pronounce them the second time, you're going to repeat after me. Right. So the first word is dinosaur. Second word is gigantic. Extinct, sacred, solitary, molar shedding. Last word is equipped. And now, when I pronounce the words, you're going to repeat after me. Listen to them very carefully. Dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Gigantic, good, extinct, correct, sacred, solitary, right, molar shedding, good, last word is equipped. So now I'm going to tell you the meanings of a few words. Dinosaur. It literally means a terrible lizard. Now dinosaurs were huge creatures who roamed the earth millions of years ago. Gigantic means huge. Extinct means no more existing or living. Sacred means holy. Sacred means holy. And solitary, the last word, solitary, means secluded or alone. Now, I hope with these few new words which you have learned, you'll use them in your writing and improve your vocabulary. Now we'll practice the use of simple future tense. I'm sure you know what is simple future tense. But even if you know that, let's revise it quickly. Simple future tense is used to describe an action which has to take place in the future. Now, shall and will are used differently in American and British English, but they are used interchangeably nowadays. I will, I shall, you will, you shall. I shall is preferred on most of the occasions nowadays. Now let's see these sentences. You have to change them in simple future tense and you have to use the correct form of verb which is in brackets. The first sentence is, if it is washed, the shirt lose its color. Now you see lose is in brackets. So you have to change it into correct simple future tense and also correct verb that is in brackets. So the correct answer is, if it is washed, the shirt will lose its color. Second sentence. When I leave Multan, I come to see you. Again, come is the verb, incorrect verb in the bracket, and you have to change it. The correct sentence would be, when I leave Multan, I will come to see you. Now, in this case, shall would also be correct, and will. So both can be used. I will come to see you or I shall come to see you. The next sentence. These brave men 
fight until death. Fight is the verb, you have to change it into simple future tense. Yes, the correct answer is, these brave men will fight until death. Next sentence. As soon as he is ready, we go. Right? Change it into correct simple future tense, also changing the correct form of verb. As soon as he is ready, we shall go. That's good. The last one. It used as a beast of burden. I repeat it. It used as a beast of burden. The correct sentence would be, it will be used as a beast of burden. So with these sentences and this practice, we come to the end of the practice of simple future tense. Now, we'll show you a dialogue between some family members. It's based on the life of elephant and it will also help you in listening comprehension. Listen to it carefully. Where is everyone? Here we are, mommy. Guess what happened in school today? What, dear? Uh, Romina and I have joined the World Wildlife Organization. Look, mommy, this is what's on their insignia. Isn't it cute? Do you know what the panda on it stands for? It is because it is in danger of becoming extinct and this organization is trying to preserve them along with uh, elephants and other animals. That's very nice. But look at this. It's made of ivory. Isn't it beautiful? Ivory? But doesn't that come from elephants? Yes, of course. That's why it is so costly, but that doesn't matter. Imagine how jealous my friends will be. But mummy, elephants are also on the list of endangered species. They are being killed by poachers for their tusks, and soon we will have no elephants left unless we do something to stop them. What do you mean? How can I save them? It is not I who is shooting them. You might not be shooting them, mummy but you are contributing to their debts by buying products made out of ivory. And when you think of how useful ev elephants have been in the past to mankind, like carrying heavy logs and people from one place to the other, in some countries, the elephants are considered sacred. You are right in a way. Elephants are gentle. They, are, they have lots of intelligence. They take care of their young ones. In Africa, they have guards to look after their old and sick ones. What are they called? Askari, I think. Askari, yes. Does that mean you will help save the elephants? Yes, indeed. I am not going to buy anything made of ivory in future. This was my last one. And thank you both for making me realize. You're welcome, welcome Mommy. Mommy. With that interesting dialogue, we come to the end of our today's program. Then we had pronunciation practice. The same words were used for word meanings. Then we practiced the use of simple future tense. And in the end, we had a dialogue which helped in reinforcing the comprehension practice. With that, we say khudafis to you. Till next week. <laughs>